Brad B back again with another video on the Mavic Air 2. Uh, if you're new to this channel and you like drone reviews and drone related stuff, go ahead and start by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time I post my videos. Today we're going to do a little step by step on the quick shots. Now quick shots is the perfect feature for someone like me who just wants to put the drone in the air and not have to worry about anything. Now this is perfect for the amateur photographer who just want to take uh, photos of the family or vacation photos and get some really cool shots. So what I'm going to do is go through the menu and guide you through each feature of the quick shot and uh, show you how you can get some cool shots. Alright, so once you have your aircraft in the air, what you have to do is go into the camera menu here. And on the right hand side, you see quick shots. You select that. And then these columns here next to it, you have um, quite a few choices here. You have the Droney, the Rocket, the Circle, the Helix, Boomerang, and Asteroid. Then to the left of that, I'm going to choose uh, 120, 120 feet. And I want to choose the Droney. Once you have selected your uh, quick shot, all you have to do is either select this uh, plus sign here or draw a box around your uh, subject. So right now I'm just going to select the plus, add it that, and then from there you can just go ahead and press start. And it'll count down, it'll lock in on you, and then from there it'll start backing out, and you can do your little wave. Now it's locked in on me. And it'll stay locked in until it gets to its uh, destination, its end point. Now at this time it's returning back to it, its uh, starting point. And after that, you're done. All right, next will be the rocket. You want to select the rocket. And we're going to put the height at 160 feet for a nice good effect. We're going to draw a box this time. From here, we're going to start the rocket. Which it, what it'll do is actually uh, go straight up, uh, come towards me, and then go straight up, looking down. So let's go ahead and hit start. and it's coming directly over top of me as it's moving up. And of course, it'll return back to its uh, original position. Now, keep in mind, you do have to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, open field like this is the uh, ideal place to do these functions. However, if you're in a uh, more confined place or whatever, just make sure uh, you keep an eye out for obstacles, especially for something like the circle, uh, which, you know, it'll go around in a circle. However, it doesn't have any side sensors, so it won't detect anything once it's uh, moving around in a circle. So just keep that in mind. And also, uh, you want to set your height above any obstacles around you so uh, you can avoid running into something. All right, so next up is the circle. Tap that menu, select circle, and then tap on your subject, or select your subject. And then from here, you can actually uh, raise your height uh, as you wish, and also adjust your radius as wide as you want it, the circle to be. Um, so I'm just going to raise it up to avoid all these obstacles here. So it's important to go ahead and select your subject first so it'll stay locked on to the subject as you're uh, raising up. Now I'm not sure how high I can go without it, without it losing me, but I'm going to raise it up to maybe, yeah, so it lost me. So what I'm going to do is bring it down 
So it's about 100 feet. So about 100 feet, I think that's the limit on that. So what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and see if I can uh, lock on again. All right, raise the gimbal. So I'm going to lock on myself again. And then I'm going to raise it up to under 100 feet. I think around 90 feet, 80 feet should be good. Hold on. Yeah, around 90, close to it. All right, so I'm going to back it out just a little bit because it's kind of right on top of me. All right, so that should clear uh, any trees around here. So uh, from here, you just go ahead and press start. So it is important to just go ahead once you raise it before you raise it up to your desired um, height. <laughs> uh, Go ahead and select the subject. That way it'll stay locked on to you. All right, so go ahead and press start. So my app crashed just there, so but we did regain, and it already started its, um, its circle. All right, so once uh, it completes the circle, it returns back to its uh, position, and then you can go ahead from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a smaller circle and give you a better um, effect. You can bring it actually really low. I'm going to go right here, get that hill in the background, select myself, and then we're going to hit start. We're going to go the other direction. So next up, we have the helix. What well, the helix is basically a spiral, and it'll start at one height, and then uh, gradually, as it's spinning, uh, get higher and higher, or increase in altitude. And it's getting close to that tree, but it's a little, okay, there we go. Actually, I'm getting a little nervous. There's a tree right believe right here that I'm getting a little nervous about so I'm not going to continue with this. What I want to do is move out towards the middle of the field so I can actually uh, get more room. Alright guys, I'm in the middle of the field. It's a little hot out here so I had to put my hat on uh, to protect me from the sun and also I'm sweating beads right now so um, it's about I think 90 degrees right now so um, we're going to do the helix. But uh, just one point, just be mindful of the uh, radius that you set uh, and also be mindful of your surroundings. I had it set to originally uh, maybe 160 feet or 120 or over 100 feet. But as you can see in my surroundings, I do have some trees here. And um, I just noticed I'm gonna have to lower that radius. So um, I'm gonna set it to 80 percent I mean excuse me 80 feet and um, I'm going low on battery too so we're going to make this quick so I'm going to select myself and then start the helix once it starts it'll start moving in a circle gradually increasing height and then also um, increasing its radius complete it'll go right back to the starting point not exactly a starting point however it's back uh, close to me um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, swap out with a fresh battery 
and then we'll continue the test. All right, so we ended off on the, the helix. What we're going to do is do the boomerang. Go ahead and select your subject. Go ahead and press start. And then once it's complete, it goes back to its uh, position. All right, so next up is the asteroid, which is uh, one of my favorites. So um, asteroid is the last selection on uh, Quick Shots. So what we're going to do is select that and then select our target. Then press start and then it'll count down. And then what it is, it starts off in the droney. up to its height it'll start taking pictures of the surrounding area and then uh, stitch them all together which creates like a, a globe um, a globe effect Once that's done, it will return back to the starting position. And it's ended, and this is what it looks like. All right, thanks for sticking around. Uh, that is it for the quick shots. Uh, like I said before, this, is, this function is perfect for a person like me who just wants to uh, put up the drone and just take some uh, good footage and get some cool shots. But I, like I mentioned earlier in the uh, video, just be aware of the surroundings. Um, make sure you're in the open area, uh, free of any obstacles, or if you are in a more confined space or uh, somewhere like this where there are trees, uh, just make sure you uh, set um, your distances uh, appropriately. So I'm gonna sign off now Thank you guys for watching. I haven't really thanked everyone yet, but I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, just recently, I reached my uh, 1,000 subscriber milestone, and I appreciate everyone, everyone, all the supporters, uh, everyone who watched the videos, and everyone who um, actually uh, subbed to the channel. Uh, thank you very much. But I'm gonna sign off now, and uh, I do have more videos coming with the Maverick Air 2. So that's gonna be it for today. If you guys wanna go ahead and look around on the channel, uh, you can go ahead and check out some of these videos. It should be right over here. Uh, go ahead and check out those. Um, I do have a playlist on the Mavic Air 2. And also, uh, you may find some other videos on there you may like. So, uh, but until next time, guys, peace. What am I doing? I'm not going anywhere without my camera. I'm walking off into nowhere without my camera. I don't know why people do that. All right. I'll see you guys. Peace. <laughs>